Okay, there you go. This is the uh, N2QOJ sound card interface. Let's start with this side here. We have um, these are the two connectors, uh, two cables. One goes to the PC microphone input or line in, and one comes from the PC line out speaker out uh, to the interface. Here we have uh, the um, one on the left is the microphone that goes to the radio that connects to the microphone input of the radio. The one on the right is the push to talk control for the radio. <clears throat> this was done this way with um, with jacks so patch cables can be made for any type of radio and this is a, uh, a flexible interface not dedicated to one specific radio. Here we have the RS-232 COM connector. This is what takes the signals from the uh, computer and the circuits inside converted to a push-to-talk function at this right connector. Uh, to the left we have to have a way of getting the radio speaker output into this device and that's um, uh, the speaker output of a radio would plug into here. Okay, so that goes to sound card in and out, push to talk on the right, microphone in for the radio so it can transmit over RF, COM port, computer control from the Echolink program or something similar, and then next to it would be the output of the actual radio, uh, typically a speaker output would plug in there. Inside, Hmm. So it looks like a Star Trek communicator. We have the uh, interface. This is a Easy Digi interface by KF5INZ. And lots of jacks and connectors that were put inside here in a very small space. Most of the wiring of all the audio connections are done with shielded cable. Um, the COM connector is not carrying any data, just signal lines, so that's just twisted hard wire. And the push to talk line is the green and white braided cable down there going to this guy here. No data there, that's just signal. So there you have it. Very compact.